Bye. Hello, wonderful people. Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. And today I'm going to be doing volume two of the underrated bass bangers. Did volume one not very long ago at all. If you watched it, you'll know the drill. If not, I will link it right here for your viewing. The purpose of these videos is simply to show you three incredible and underrated tunes in each volume and can be any bass genre from dubstep to trap, bass house, drum and bass, you name it. And importantly, they're all non-copyrightable so I can play them all for you here from start to finish. Bigger producers, smaller producers, but you know, whatever it may be, I just want to show these tunes to more people because I think they deserve it. A little bit of comment here and there, but the main focus is going to be on the music so that you guys know exactly what they're about. Again, any suggestions you may have for the formatting of these videos going forward, do let me know. Most seem to be fine with the last one, but uh, yeah, anything on that front, Drop your thoughts down below. But here we go, volume two, and first up today, we have someone who's been absent last few years or so and hasn't put anything out in that time. In the middle part of the last decade, the 2010s, he was easily one of the most prolific producers in bass music. Yeah, hands down, and has made some of my favorite bass tunes ever. I have no qualms in saying that. And that is Charlie Darker with Dun Do It. Okay, you ready? Charlie Darker, Dun Do It, let go. Okay, actually, yeah, just before we uh, proceed with the uh, second half of the tune, just going to provide a little bit of commentary here on what's going on. Yeah, I mean, it's bubbly, fun, as you can hear, and, you know, gurgly and vomity almost as well. A lot of people kind of credit him, uh, Mr. Darker, for uh, bringing the vomit approach that was popularised by people like snails, of course, into the house format. I'm not sure if, actually no, I do know that Snails was doing that a bit before uh, this tune came out, which I think was 2015. Uh, don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, as you can see, just bringing house and the uh, vomit aesthetic and uh, style together, and it just gets you going. You know, it's dark, but it's also fun. So uh, yeah, from here, carrying on. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, just, I think the punchiness and roundedness of the percussion just becomes even more apparent as it goes on and the kind of gurgly, vomity nature of it is just brought to the forefront even more, which I think is what you want. And yeah, those sounds just become even fresher and more vivid and alive as the tune goes on, you know. And that's what I love it for. Uh, in terms of why it's underrated, I'm not so sure. I think Charlie Darker in general is just someone who deserved way more appreciation for his skill as a producer. But um, yeah, this would have to be probably my favourite of his that are uh, non-copyrightable. Uh, there are others from him that are signed to labels and whatnot that are very, very good. But yeah, this came right near the beginning of his uh, music career. Just wanting to come back so much. I love his stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of it down below. I know it's definitely beyond what most of you listen to normally. But yeah, still, let me know what you thought of Charlie Darker, Done Do It. Next up, we have someone else who I'm not quite sure where he's gone last couple of years or so, which has been difficult to kind of get my head around and get used to, seeing as, again, he was putting out so much and it was so good and it seemed like he had something going on. A real good project on his hands. Uh, so it's a shame, but a lot of good tunes from this person to look back on. A unique style as well and uh, dubstep, a lot of you will be pleased to hear. And that is Conductor with Digital Warfare. Okay, you ready? This one is good. I love, love, love this song. Here we go. just before um, it builds up again. I mean, how much fun is that? I mean, but a different kind of fun, of course, a completely different kind of fun to the Charlie Darker tune we just heard. A sad kind of fun, you know, he works the melancholy in so, so well with the heaviness and it's just kind of intertwined and all of those glitchy, jumpy moments as well. It's just so well put together. And yeah, it's just... As I said, a different kind of fun with that bouncy kind of vibe. A deep sadness rooted in it as well, driving it forward. And uh, it's beautiful, dark, remorseful, sprightly and fun all in one. And yeah, it's bloody good. Shall we carry on? <laughs> Oh, 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 
Ah, just, um, yeah, as I listen again, uh, just reminding myself of how beautiful it is and how, yeah, you just don't really get tunes like that at the moment. It's just so beautiful, really hones in on the emotion and um, it's unique and I feel, you know, lucky and grateful that I stumbled across it because it's really kind of bloomed in terms of my enjoyment of it over the years. But uh, yeah, I really do love it, you know, as a kind of integration of musicality and melody and feeling into dubstep, you know, something that is so heavy and evil, usually it just works so well. So um, again, let me know what you thought of it down below. And finally today, we have someone who is a well-known producer, but not so much in bass music, I would say. But having said that, he has made some fantastic bass bangers. And this tune right here is one of the wildest I've ever heard, I would have to say. Yeah, you'll hear it in a minute and you'll know exactly what I mean, but um, yeah, Wild is a perfect explanation for it. It's a remix and it placed in my top remixes of the decade, which shows you or tells you everything you need to know about how much I enjoy it. And that is the Max Styler remix of Yezer by Reed Stefan. Okay, this one is big. You're gonna have to strap in. Here we go. Are you ready? big drops here so I'm just gonna let it run on uh, to the second one Okay, I mean, fucking hell. It's just mad and we, we haven't heard the most out there and wild and adventurous drop yet. Uh, that's to come, but um, until then, uh, just gonna talk about, yeah, the off the wall and ostentatious approach here, which just, I don't know, it fills you with energy. It's just pure hype. And yeah, I love it for that. The combination of tribal, jungly instrumentation and a high pitch vocal, which is also low pitch at points as well. But the chopping of it and yeah, just as a combination of elements, so full of life and exuberant production is fantastic and rounded and everything just kind of works and every direction it takes makes sense. So um, yeah, I mean, we haven't even heard as I mentioned, the most exhilarating of the drops we get, and all of them 
completely different. Again, fun, but in a different way to the previous two. But uh, enough talking, on with the banger. <laughs> Bloody hell. I mean, yeah, the clue is in the music. It's a roller coaster. It's mad, it's manic, and it's wonderful. I, uh, I get that it won't be uh, for a lot of people on the surface of it, but even if it isn't your thing, you can appreciate the ambition in the different drops we get and just how he keeps leveling it up and uh, yeah, taking it from one level to another. It's just so good in that way. And um, me personally, I love that jungly tribal theme and the percussion just sitting below and the bass just keeps it motoring forward. And uh, yeah, it's excellent. What more can I say? I love it. And uh, yeah, again, let me know what you thought of it down below. But there we have it, the second volume of the new underrated bass bangers series. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. But yeah, what did you make of these cuts? Did you enjoy them? Did you not? Let me know. And again, if you have suggestions for how to change the format of these videos going forward, then yeah, again, drop your comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're yet to. Hit the notification bell along the way. My social media accounts are linked below. And lastly, I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Keep it naughty and yeah, peace out.